Okay, I have a three-ton air conditioner at the house, a two-ton air conditioner in the garage. I have a two-ton air conditioner over there, and uh, I've got this little for you. So uh, all of this together was exceeding the capabilities of one 18k PV. So what I did is I split my shop up and powered the shop from this 6000 XP and uh, since then I've added a second 18k PV so now I've got two in parallel and I'm going to run an experiment I'm going to disconnect the the 6000 XP now I'm going to connect the shop up to the uh, 18k PVs and uh, I'm going to do that by uh, these two breakers in here were just the placeholders. I'm going to replace those with a 50 amp breaker and use that uh, to power the, the shop. This is the power that goes back to the house. This is the input from uh, master. This is the input from the uh, slave 18 kPV. So uh, I'm just going to take that one out or those two 20 amp breakers, get rid of them and uh, install a 50 amp breaker and use that to power the uh, the shop. I'm going to take these and go back over and splice them in to the uh, the shop main panel so that uh, I can uh, do this test and see how well the, the double 18Ks uh, perform with the air conditioner, the electric dryer, and this air, air conditioner out here. See how well that performs. Be sure to get L1 opposite L1. Okay. There we go. And the other hand of it, I'm just going to splice it in temporarily because uh, this is an experiment. I don't want to do anything permanent until I figure out. Uh, how well these two 18Ks can power the house and the shop. Okay, I'm going to use these uh, Polaris splicers. That's a three-way, but I'm not, I don't have any two-ways. So, let's see. L1. There's my pencil. Aha. Okay. Now these two wires are hot. Go back to the inverter. No issue whatsoever. So now the shop is back on the 18 case, and uh, what I'm going to do is start doing some current testing. Uh, I'm going to turn on the electric dryer. This air conditioner is already cycling. I'm going to the, the one at the house is also cycling. So we shall see. Installed, everything's hooked up and installed. And now comes the real test. Uh, I'm going to wait until the sun is up a little bit higher so that uh, I can uh, draw from solar and from the batteries. And I'm going to run a test. I'm going to do the uh, all the air conditioners and the electric dryer and all the lights and uh, see how well it performs. Performs. Okay, uh, we got it's cloudy, overcast day, but we still got a little bit of sunshine, enough to run this experiment. I got batteries at 42%. I got two kilowatts coming in from solar, and 
my property at idle with just the normal lights, the TV, and uh, outlets and computers running. This is about a kilowatt. So what I'm going to do now is start the AC. Uh, so it, it'll take about two or three minutes to register, so I'll pause this. Okay, that is the compressor. That's a three-ton air conditioner that's a, that cools my house. It's running right now. And I'm going to go... Uh, oh, no, I can do that from my phone. Start up the... Uh, the lights out in my workshop. That's about a kilowatt. Okay, I got the uh, main air conditioner running and the lights in my shop. And I'm going to go out uh, to the garage and turn on the uh, two-ton air conditioner out in the garage. Be right back. Okay, I just started the uh, compressor out in the garage. It hasn't really registered here yet. I'm at uh, 3.6 kilowatts. Let me just do a, a refresh on the web page and see if we... There we are. We've got uh, 5,450 watts and uh, I need to go out to my shop start the uh, third air conditioner. I'll be right back. Okay, I just, just got back from the shop. This hasn't registered yet. Uh, 5,500. Let me refresh and see if it... There we are, 7,547 watts. And hold on, I'm going to go turn on the electric dryer. And so I've got the three air conditioners, a three-ton and two two-ton air conditioners running. And I just turned on the electric dryer and I've got a kilowatt worth of lamps out in the, in the workshop. So, I mean, nah, it hasn't registered yet. Keep refreshing here. 7,800. There we go. 8 kilowatts. And looks like uh, 2.4 of that is coming from solar and almost 6 kilowatts coming from the batteries. And I've got uh, most of the lights on in the house, so I'll turn on some more. The TV is on. And the dreaded Keurig coffee pot is also on. And things are working just great. So, I think that's it for the experiment today. Uh, let me refresh it a little bit. I'm going to go out and take some temperatures uh, and see how the fans are working out in the shed. It's not too bad. I turned on the fan earlier. 98, 98, 95, 97, 93. That's not bad at all. <laughs> I'm just coasting along. So, I think the experiment's about done. I'm going to let it run for a few hours like this and make sure that uh, things hold together. But I, I'm really, really confident that. Uh, Two of these can power my house. I've got three air conditioners running right now and the electric dryer. Oh wait, I forgot. I got one more air conditioner out here. It's 110 volt, but it'll that'll un unbalance the, the load anyhow. So alright. Nice cool air coming out. Let me go check the uh, wattage and see. That's about all the loads I can think of for this house. I think it's the end of the experiment. That's all the lights, or most of the lights in the house. The TV, four air conditioners. One of them is 110 volt. I, I don't know what phase it's on, but uh, 
running right around nine kilowatts and uh, they're not even breaking a sweat. The, 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 uh, the fans aren't even running right now. So anyhow, uh, I think I'm going to call it good.